Hi, I'm Chris from Watchpoint. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use our ransomware simulator to encrypt data on a workstation. Running the script is pretty easy, but it does require that you install a certificate for encryption if you don't already have one. Now, you may already have a certificate installed. If you do, I'll show you how to find it. If you do not have a certificate installed, I'll show you how to import the certificate provided by Watchpoint to get things going. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that you're going to want to do is just download the ransomware simulator scripts and extract them to some place on your local hard drive. Uh, once you've extracted them, you'll find a couple folders in there and a certificate that you can install. The folders contain the uh, local and network scripts uh, to run these simulators against a local host or a network host. Um, and we've got the certificate in there as well. So let's see if we need a certificate. We're going to open PowerShell and we're going to run that as an administrator. We're just going to type a command to git dash child item cert colon backslash current user backslash my and hit enter. If nothing pops out you don't have a certificate installed so we need to install the certificate that has been provided. So we'll navigate to our folders that we've extracted, go to the cert, right click, choose install and just click next next next. You'll type a password in of my password one two three next 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 and that will install that cert. We'll go back to PowerShell, hit the up arrow, run the same command and we'll find we now have a thumbprint. So we can take that thumbprint, we can go to our scripts, uh, right click the scripts, choose edit, and you'll find this piece right here where yours will say insert thumbprint, and you'll just put that thumbprint that you have. Just paste it in there, save the script, and once you've done that to all four scripts, the two for the uh, local attack and the two for the network attack, you will now have scripts ready to go. You may have to check the execution policy on your server. Uh, you can do that by typing get dash execution policy. Mine is unrestricted. If you need to set it, you can do set dash execution policy and run it either unrestricted or bypass that execution policy. But this will allow you to run those PowerShell scripts. Uh, so at this point, we'll just go ahead and take a look at my test data. I've got some data out here that uh, some dummy data that I've created, some dummy folders and data. I'll create a file called um, test data. Just uh, type in there that this is a uh, on encrypted documents and we'll go ahead and run um, the encryption simulator. So we'll go to the local uh, host and we'll run the workstation encryption. It will ask us what folder we want to attack. I'm going to attack the two folder where my dummy data is and now you see here I'm encrypting those files. Uh, our software CryptoStopper has recognized this as a ransomware attack and is actually going to stop it. So uh, that's uh, first of all, first and foremost, I've just uh, encrypted data. Now I can use the other script here and we'll go ahead and um, decrypt that data. So I'll right click again on the um, workstation decrypt. We'll point it to test data 2 and we'll go ahead and let that decrypt those files. Uh, CryptoStopper will probably detect it and kill it again. Uh, CryptoStopper is our ransomware uh, detection and uh, ransomware killer uh, product that we developed in-house. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to give us a shout. Uh, you can contact support at watchpointdata.com if you have any questions or need any help uh, with the ransomware simulator scripts. Thank you.